Hey guys, Roll Tanker back again. Um, so it's been a little while, just been up to a lot of other things. Um, but I thought as well also is that I might as well space these videos out. I know nearly two weeks is a bit too much. But if I did one video where I did four issues and another video with four issues, then what else would I do? And then... I've tried doing the individual issues before, so one video, one issue, and the views for them are not that particularly good, but hopefully if things improve a little bit, I might be able to do some other bits, um, just to kind of fill out the gaps, but it's a little bit of a struggle at this point, so I'm trying my best to get content out for you guys, so... Yeah, let's get right into this. So, in this episode, we're going to be looking at issues 15, 16, 17, and 18. Um, so, usual format, as like with some of the previous issue, um, videos, where we'll look at the magazine, we'll look at all the magazines first, and then we'll look at all the individual miniatures, and then we'll wrap the video up. So, we'll start with the first one, which is issue 15. Let me get myself a little bit more comfortable. So, issue 15 is the first issue where you get your first set of five flayed ones, which are the Necrons covered in, um... I hope I don't get demonetized or anything like this, but it's, um... Human flesh. Pretty much. Yeah, I think they use it to mask themselves or something. I don't know, it's all Necron terminology, which I really don't understand. Um... But we'll have a look at the miniatures, like I said, after we've looked at all the magazines. So there we go. So we'll put the miniatures off to one side. So again, there's a bit of artwork to what a flayed one would actually look like. And then in this issue, you get your first five. And then I think in the later issues, I think you get the additional five to have a unit of ten. At least I think it's a unit of ten that you get. And again, issue 16, 17, all that. So, usual thing, um, what the flesh, um, what the flayed ones are normally about and what they're equipped with. So, there we go. And I'm pretty sure off the top of my head, these guys are very, very deadly in combat. So, whenever I play against them, I try to keep my distance and kind of focus them down before they get even close. And there's some of that. So, a little bit about the Impune Sankutus. Uh, Senkud, um, I really can't pronounce it. Um, but yeah, there's a um, little bit of fluff there for you about what's going on with the Imperium and how well they're doing and stuff. A little bit more just there, so... Secundus, there we go, got there in the end. Just my brain wasn't working for a split sec. But there's a little bit about the Imperium just there. And then a little bit about the Space Marine Chapter Command. So a lot of their high-ranking officers and stuff like that for Space Marine Chapter. And then it goes into some of the commanders. So you've got Marius Kalgar of the Ultramarines, uh, Grimnar of the Space Wolves, Commander Dante, uh, Carvar Strike of the Raven Guard, Pedro Cantor of the Crimson Fists, and High Marshal Helbrecht, I think that's how you say it, of the Black Templars. And then a lot of the time they're protected by Honor Guard. Um, yep, yeah, there's just a little bit there. If you want to pause the video, feel free. And then in the next bit, it just goes into how to how to build them. But of course, if you're a seasoned Necron player, then you pretty much have probably built a few of these in the past. But if not, there we are. But again, it does reiterate, just be careful when clipping them out because the bits are quite Thin. And then it just goes into how to paint them, so how to paint the metal, uh, some of the um, bits that are gonna light, that are gonna be shining, and some of the skin bits. There we go. And then it goes into a scenario where I think it's the five flayed ones against six assault intercessors, which I'm not sure how well the five flayed ones are going to do against six assault intercessors, but it looks to be that the flayed ones are stopping the intercessors from getting somewhere. 
possibly. But there we go. And then just a little bit of back art there. So that is issue 15. I'll put that off to the side. So issue 16. There we go. So issue 16 is where you get an additional five assault intercessors. Um, where you get the sergeant and then four regular dudes. Again, a nice bit of uh, artwork from from them again. There we go. So yeah, it's doing the same thing again. Tells you what they're equipped with, which is normally a heavy bolt pistol and chainsword, and some of the other bits like how to identify the sergeant and if you're painting ultramarines, a normal sergeant is painted with a red helmet. And I think a veteran sergeant is a red helmet with a white stripe, I believe. And again, you can name each individual guy if you'd like to. And keep a track record of how they've done. And then it goes into some of the Necron weapons. So you've got the Gauze Blaster, the Tesla Carbine, and the Synthetic uh, Distinderator. I know I'm butchering these... Um, pronunciations but like I said I'm not the biggest Necron fan even though they are quite interesting I'm just not that good in their lingo and then it goes into some of their bigger bigger vehicles and what they use so you've got doomsday weapons uh, emetic weapons the death rays and the teleportation weapons and most of the teleport weapons is how the Necrons move around a bit quicker. Then it goes into one of the factions, which is the Chaos Space Marines, which are the traitor legions of the Imperium, which is mainly the... During the Horus Heresy, these guys um, became traitors to the Imperium, and they're now branded as, well, traitors to everyone. So if any Chaos... Um, Space Marine chapter comes across them, they eliminate these as quickly as possible. And then it goes into some of the um, scenarios, so the chaotic corruption, and speaking of which, the Horus Heresy. So if you want to learn a little bit about the Horus Heresy or the chaotic corruption, then pause the video if you'd like and read a little bit about it. There you go. And then it just, same again, goes into how to build them. But I think these guys, you have a little bit more flexibility because, like, with the um, Intercessor Sergeant, uh, you do get an option for a different head so you can have him helmeted or unhelmeted. And, yeah. And also, uh, you can, instead of having him with the bolt pistol, the heavy bolt pistol, you can give him, I think it's a Neo Volkoid pistol. Or I think it's a Plasma pistol. I think one of the two. And then the other guys, they're all armed with heavy bolt pistols and chainsaws. So you do get a little bit of variety in this, uh, with these five. Just only with the sergeant. And then again, just showing you how to paint them. And then that's how they should turn out. Even though in this, it shows that they didn't paint the sergeant helmets red. But I'm pretty sure you'll get um, red later down the line. And then it goes into some more about the movement phases and stuff like that. And then shooting phase, the charge phase, the fight phase. And then it goes into a scenario where it's like, I think it's probably 12 assault intercessors or something. Hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Sorry. 8 assault intercessors against it looks to be... The Royal Warden and 10 Necron Warriors. So this is where you're starting to get bigger battles going. And it looks to be the Assault Intercessors are trying to stop the Necrons from breaking through their line from the looks of it. But yeah, I reckon that's going to be quite a fun issue. Uh, so that's issue 16. And I hope you guys like these slightly longer videos. There we go. So issue 17, you get an additional bit here, which is uh, about some of the Necron dynasties. 
So, similar to the Space Ring chapters, these are like the Necron version. So, it does offer you some options on what um, colour schemes you want to work on. And I'm not even going to try and pronounce these dynasties, but feel free to pause the video whenever you like. So that you can get a little bit of background, and if there's one that catches your eye, then... Pretty much go right ahead and try and paint them, pretty much. So there's those two, then there's them, sorry about the little glare on the page. And then on the back it's more or less about them awakening their empire. And then this is where a lot of their combat situations are. So where a lot of these dynasties are being reawakened, these tomb worlds. So, not bad, I'm going to try and hold it there for you. There we go, so if you want to pause the video and read about all these Necron Dynasties, then feel free. So there we go. And then issue 17, you get your second armoured container, barrels and crates. So to add a bit more to your terrain. Oh, uh, that'll make it easier for me later. Uh, so in here, it just goes into a bit more about the Ultramarines. And some of the injuries and grudges that they have. So I'll just hold it there if you guys like to. There we go. Oh. This one's falling apart apparently. So yep, some of the injuries. So the hero injuries. So it's like they have an injured left leg. Or an injured eye. Some fractured bones. Anything like that. So it's just going into some of their injuries, so there we go, so if you want to read that, feel free. There we are. Yeah. I'm going to keep this one on the floor so at least it doesn't keep ripping apart on me. And hopefully the camera might be able to... There we go, I think. There we are. So yeah, I'll try and bring them up so at least you can see it. So we've got some of the outcasts, um, which are like the flayed ones, that sort of thing. So I'll hold it there if you want to read it. There we go. And then turning over the page, it goes into the destroyers. So some of their destroyer types. Uh, I'll just get that one. There we go. There we are. And then it goes into the worlds of the Imperium, so the realm of mankind, all their fortress worlds and things like that. There we go. There we are. And then it goes into the types of worlds, so you've got a high world, uh, feudal worlds, and then feral worlds. So there's quite a few different types of worlds in the Imperium. Well, in the 41st millennium, sorry. So there we go. And then, same again. You've pretty much seen this before in the in one of the previous issues. So how to build it, how to make sure it stays strong. How to paint this one. Apparently in this, they're painting it as Screamer Pink. Which is fair enough. So there we go, and then how to dry brush it, so it's showing a little light dry brush with Corex White, and uh, Mechanica Standard Grey, so they're just trying to add a bit more variety with um, everything in this, and there you go, your second container should be roughly like that, including the barrels and the ammunition crates, and then just showing you where to put them on the table. And then in this, it looks like you're using the Librarian, the Librarian in Phobos armor, against the unit of Necrons. So there we go. And there we are. I know that issue book didn't go so well, but that's what these uh, magazines are designed for. They're meant to be ripped apart so that you can put them in your folder. And last and certainly not least, issue 18, where in this issue you get the Necron Techroman Techromancer, um, which I believe is similar to what the Imperium has like either in a Tech Priest or a Tech Marine. 
Um, looks like this is going to be another one of those issues where it keeps falling apart. Uh, so there we go. So pretty much a little bit about what he's equipped with and all that good stuff. So if you want to pause and read that, there you go. Hopefully this doesn't... Yeah, it's going to do that. Oh, well. So there's a little bit of a battle report so you can tally his kills and all that good stuff and name his weapon. Then it goes into some of the tools of war for the Space Marines. So their power armor, their Terminator armor, and I believe some of the other tactic uh, tactical armor. So you've got the Ominous armor, which is for like their jump troops. Then you've got the Phobos armor, which is the more of the lighter armor, and it's more for infiltration and that. And then you've got the Gravis armor, which is very heavy duty, so it's a slightly better upgrade than Terminator armor. Uh, but if you'd like to pause and read it, feel free. There we go. And then it goes into another faction, so you've got the Dark Eldar, which are the um, bad version of the um, normal Eldar. But I'll hold it there if you guys want to read a little bit about them. There we go. And then there's a little bit more about them. Um, so some of the encounters that the Imperium have had with them. And yeah. Hang on. There we are. So at any time feel free to pause the video. And then we've got the March of the Machines. So talking about a lot of the machines that the Imperium has. There we go. Go. Ouch. There we are. Again, some nice more bit of fan art just up there. And then a bit more about what's going on. So there we go. And then it goes into how to build him. Along with the little spider that stays close with him. And then on how to paint him. There we go. If I can turn the pages. And then it goes into the scenario. So it's him versus, I think it's going to be the three aggressors you get. Ah, yes, it's the three aggressors and the primaris lieutenant. So there we go. And there we are. So then it goes into a little bit more. Like with a battle mat and stuff like that. So yep, yeah, there we go. So I'll just move all this to one side. There we go. So I'll bring back the issue 15. So here's the flayed one sprue. Again, very, very nice detail. There we go. So, yep, that's the flayed ones. Just do. Issue 16 with the Primaris uh, Salt Intercessors. So there we go. I believe this is one of the standard boxes that you get with the starter sets, I think. But again, very, very nice detail. There we go. And yes, in each packet you do get the um, bases you need. Uh, issue 17. I'm just going to quickly show the box off again because we've already gotten one of these so nothing much change there and then finally issue 18 so here's the main guy or his main parts that you need very nice looking bits of detail there we go. 
And then here's the other sprue. There we are. And there we go. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, comment down below if you want to see anything change. If you prefer the one issue, one video, or you prefer the slightly longer ones where I do like four issues per video. And yeah, hope to see you guys in the next one.